Connor, when you sing, man, it is like so emotional. You, you, do you go somewhere else? Do you, are you in that moment when that song was written? Yeah, it's a big. It's a lot of stress relief singing for me. Like, even at this time of the day, it just gets out everything, you know? Yeah. It's really important for me to be able to do that. Because now you, uh, you guys toured so much on the last record and you were gone, like, as you said, for three years that it actually kind of took a, a toll on you. You were in a, a, a dark place. Yeah, for sure. It was um, it was pretty much exactly a year ago now, wasn't it? We were on this yeah. on this kind of run, um, which is nice. We um, I just really struggled with sleep and mental health. I went into a really dark hole with like, anxiety and depression. But we the before we went on this run in America, we were the ambassadors for Mental Health Day in England for this campaign called I Am Whole, and it was kind of a nice send off for us. It was literally the morning that we flew to America. So it's kind of like a big. See you later to that, if you know what I'm saying, which is yeah. cool. Felt like we were closing the book. At that yeah, point, exactly. You know? And it, we like, didn't even yeah. realise it. It was oh god, you know, it's yeah. the, on the on the day we leave for America, and um, you kind of come out, and I was a bit pensive, nervous about it, but it's been amazing. It's been really smooth, and and it's kind of brought us all together as well. We've become even closer than we we were. I was going to say, so uh, how did you pull yourself? Up? Did you tell the guys, like, look, I. I kind of need some help here, or yeah. I mean, oh, on that tour for like six months, I was just whinging a lot, you know. But it was I so irritating, but it was, <laughs> but it, we're used to him whinging. It was fun. <laughs> so no, it was, just a it, was level. it was like, um, it, you know, we're in a band together, but we're obviously all mates, so you don't want to see anyone, you know, struggling in any way. So, I think that now we can just afford to talk to each other about anything and I don't think Connor ever felt like you can do that no, which was great, which was great. which was good um we had a lot of work to do last on that run like we really wanted to cement our place here and get that started so, so I, I, think I didn't want to let that get in the way I just was really pushing through it yeah and did get to the end I was like okay and I said to the guys like I need a like, month or two off, off where so I just got to stop you know or just uh, you know I was struggling so it was a point where we were wondering whether we where when we tour again or whether we tour again but I just got professional help in the UK, S you know, sort things, of doctor. Things good it, now? It went really well, yeah, absolutely great. I'm in control of it and feeling good. Well, it's awesome that you have you have support here with your with your band. It's great to be able to support each other and help each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, these are my best friends. You also took a knife in the eye? Ish? <laughs> oh, that was an accident. That was a bit of a knife? Nice. I know, I know, it's like, it's, it's not related. <laughs> yeah, but it sounds right. You took a knife in the eye in London. I mean, yeah, but, I, but it's an interesting story. I mean, that sounds horrible. It's hilarious. Now, I was... Um, you can see. We were at Ziggit Festival, yeah, is that Yeah, we were, in, we, were, we were in Budapest, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, and it was, it was 10 minutes before stage. We were just getting ready and what, doing what we normally do. Just I normally make a tea for stage, like a bit ginger, honey, lemon, that kind of normal thing. And um, I just wasn't paying attention and the knife was a bit brittle. I just cut it and the tip pinged off and the only place it went in the whole 360 degrees <laughs> was in the corner of my right eye. Oh. Um, so the medic the hilarious. medics came in and they were like, "Uh oh." <laughs> I was a bit drunk as we normally are, before we, <laughs> as I normally am. It will surprise you to learn. But I was like, "I'll get that out. I'll get, I'll get my tweezers out, my wash bag." Like <laughs> he genuinely be still. Was, yeah, and the the medics were like, "We actually can't take this out because if it goes a bit wrong, you know, there's nothing we can do." So they took him to like an like an eye doctor surgeon, and he had to leave sight. And uh, there was a tent that was five minutes away from our dressing room, and it was full up of people. And we'd never been to Would have been so good as well. We'd never been to Budapest before, and they were very excited to see us. So we had to deliver the very sad news that Connor had stabbed himself in the face, <laughs> and we wouldn't be able to Someone play. Someone on the front row didn't take it that well, did they? No, I got told to <laughs> f off. <laughs> I was like, f you. Yeah, I was very nervous to go out there with a microphone and right. sort of say, "All right, all right, guys. Um, yeah, a little bit of bad news. Um, Connor's done it again." <laughs> um, so yeah, that wasn't ideal. But we did promise them we'll go back. So yeah, yeah we're, we're back yeah. next year. We only have plastic cutlery in the dressing rooms now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the to writer. Touch anything yeah. Now. yeah. So out of all of the things you've done so far, what's been the highlight? Oh my god, that's hard. I always think uh, for me. It's always those home shows. I love, we played Brixton Academy in December. God, that's gone quick, isn't it? Yeah, blimey. Um, blimey. Yes, uh, that was awesome. We headlined our first show there, and that's it's kind of the place we used to go as kids to watch right. big acts. And it's about 5,000, 6,000 cap. It's kind of like the, uh, the Aragon is here in Chicago. So it's like a, a very iconic venue in uh, south side of London and yeah. so um, there's, there's a really famous Pixies um, performance there and they did like a DVD of it and I remember as a kid watching that religiously so actually getting to play it was like a, a yeah, big, big moment yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. but then we've had 
some amazing festivals. We've had some. Yeah, I think being in the sound lounge is probably mutually the biggest thing for us yeah. today. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to forget that one in a rush. <laughs> um, and then last day. Yeah, Glastonbury. We've got this oh, big. Glast- yeah. We've got this big field, and. Uh, Every year, apart from next year, because they're taking some time off, they just fill it with music, and it's got... Everyone knows Glastonbury. Yeah, I know, just sort of being really facetious. Big um, No, but we, we got offered to play, and we were like... We played it last year as well, but we were in a tent, so we're sort of climbing up the stages with each year that goes past, and, yeah, it's just, it's, it's just an amazing experience. We actually got to play Sorry for the first time there, yeah. and we'd only put about 15 minutes practice into it and so but we managed to blag our way through it but yeah that was really cool the festivals have been great this year the pyramid stage is waiting it'll be there uh, yeah. soon enough